Hey everyone. So a lot of people have been complaining that they don't necessarily like the new interface system because it's not like the old one. Now what they don't realize is that they can make it like the old one. So I'm going to go through some interface editing with you and show you some cool different things you can do to both customize it to your liking and make it back to the old style as close as possible if you like. So what you can do is you can actually stack menus, which people don't realize. I can open up my... oh, wrong one. I got a mouse over. I got to remember that. I can open up my inventory, my worn equipment, my... you, you can do it with uh, friends, friend chat, clan chat. So you can stack a bunch of things up just like it used to be. You cannot make a bottom row, I don't believe, but you can put them all in sequential order, and then you can lock. This will keep you from exiting or moving them, and then you can have them one by one, just like you used to. So if you played on stretch screen, you could actually, or they would actually be in a row like this, and that's what it would be here. Now let me unlock this. And remember, you can stretch things, so you don't need to use those arrows like you had just seen there. So I can keep adding to this and just keep opening different menus. And they're all going to be in here, and I can stretch it as... No, I don't need to run. I can stretch it as far as I need so that I don't have those arrows. You can move them around with this arrow here for what order you want them, or like I said, as close to the old order as possible. And you can do this with chats as well. Now you don't only have to stack chats. Let me get this out of the way here. And uh, we're going to get to this here. The XP counter and the dialogue interface. So say I talk to him and it's right up over here and doesn't even match up like it used to. I actually like that the dialogue and game messages system like when you talk to an NPC and different messages come up I like that it doesn't take over your chat anymore it's actually a separate window it's just stacked on top so we'll get to those in a minute so okay let's say I got my private chat I'm gonna put up here now I'm not necessarily gonna line these up in any kind of order for you to make it neat and pretty you can do that yourself I'm just explaining how you can do different things now you can actually stack menus with chats. So for me, I don't need to be looking at my private chat 24-7 just to see people sign in and out. So I can drag the magic one over here and you gotta, like I said in the first video, if it's red it's a mismatch, it's not matching up. So you gotta drag it so you see the arrow. So now I have the magic and my private chat and we can keep going with this. So let's say my notes. Can open my notes. Oh, that's the music. Well, we're going to do it with the music on. And I can put the music over here. And I can drag these in whatever order I want. If I want my private chat to be the first one, then it's the first one. And I can have, like I said, I was going to do it with notes, but I click the music. It's whatever. And then I've got the magic. So say for farm runs or teleporting or whatever I need to do, I can have the magic up here with my private chat. And so, yeah, I keep it on here. When I need the magic, bam, it's right there. Click, click, whatever I got to do, and back to here. Because I don't need to be staring at either of those menus consistently. Now, I know some people that have menus laid out all over their screen because they want to be able to just click things. They don't want to have to open and close menus. That's fine. You do what you like. Now, what you can also do is drag, let's see, I'm going to move this down here. Now, I can have my friends chat, like the actual chatting, and where is it? Friends chat info right here. I can drag that once again, so it's an arrow. Now, I don't know if this is going to be changed, but it's difficult to move them around at this moment if it's just two. So, if you have just two, what you can do, you add a third one. You arrange them in whatever order you want. So if I want if I want the actual French chat first and the French chat info second, and then I can put my third one back on wherever I had it before. So I know that's not 
super convenient, but it's easy enough to do. So now I can have my friends chat where I would talk in my friend chat, and then I need to see who's in the friend chat. Well, I'm going to switch over to this menu here. And again, you can drag these up and down, side to side, to stretch them in or out. Now you can no longer click through chat boxes. I'm clicking right here. Let me see. I'll put my mouse next to my mic. Okay, you hear me clicking and nothing's happening. You used to be able to click through chat boxes and it was an option. You could toggle on or off. It no longer has the toggle option. So to combat that, what I've done for my personal use is I've moved my boxes all the way over. Now, like I mentioned in the previous video, and as you see happening, the lines will actually go to the next line because the word wrap feature that RuneScape implemented, I don't know when, but it was awesome when they finally did. Because you used to, if you had a, a friend chat name that was 12 characters, you would lose 11 characters on your line because only so much could fit. And so they made it so you can type the same amount of characters and it'll go to the next line depending on how long it is. Okay, now what I was mentioning about these, the XP pop-ups, which you can turn off by going to your options and you can go to interface settings and right here XP tracker. So if you don't want to see it, you can click that. Now with the old toggle, uh, there was the enable counter which is still right here. So show the XP tracker, I'm 99% sure just makes it disappear. So I can do stuff and get XP and it'll keep tracking it and then I can click this back to get it back. Now I know that's a little inconvenient or a lot more inconvenient than just clicking that bubble that used to be there but I mean I guess you don't need to constantly be opening and closing it. It doesn't really matter too much. Transparency you see right here. You can adjust this left to be darker or right to be lighter. Seeing through things is pretty cool. I enjoy it. Especially the bank. I like being able to see through my bank a little bit but not so much that I can't even tell what the items are. So you adjust that to however you want. We, I went over slim the windows in the previous video. I don't need it to tell me that that's the friend chat and that's the private chat and all that stuff. I know what it all is. Okay. Now, let's get out of here and we're going to go back to, I can exit. No, I don't want to. Yeah, see if I exit one, it's only, if I exit here, it's only going to exit the clan chat. So I would, I'd have to exit them all, which I guess I'm going to do. Okay. Now, when I come over to here and I go to edit mode, this is courtesy of my friend New Jersey 626 that I mentioned in the previous video. He was the one that showed me or told me where the chat colors were. He also told me about this. If you put a check mark next to gameplay, HUD's editing, a whole bunch of confusing stuff comes up. XP tracker is simple enough. You know what that is. Now, it shows you the second and third line, but as the first and the second. Okay, so the first line is actually right here. This is the second line, which should be up one, and this is the third line, which should be up one. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to align this with the top of my screen. Okay. And when I exit this here, okay, now I got things all over the place. Now my very top one is at the top, which is where I want it. So the top line corresponds with the words XP Tracker. Now the game dialog, which is also what I mentioned before, you can move this wherever you want. I like it around here just so it's out of my chat screen. So now if something pops up, um, yeah, I don't think that's going to save over anything. I really hope it's not. That would be really inconvenient. Anyway, confirm. So when I talk to this dude, did I not hit confirm? Let me go back in here. Uh, where was it? I may have to save this to custom 2. So let me save it as custom 2. We're going to go to edit mode. I'm going to drag this over here. And then we're going to say, save as, yes, confirm, and save and exit. And it's going to ask you again. Oh, I never redragged my XP tracker. Anyway, when I talk to this dude now, it'll pop up in the bottom where I put it. 
So that's what that was about. All right. Now, there's a lot of options you could play with that I'm not going to go through one by one because it really wouldn't make sense for me to. Most of them are self-explanatory. If you open up controls, though, I want to mention this. There's a lot of convenient things that you can do in here. You can set a key for, to open your inventory. You can set one for your familiar button. And this is all separate of your action bar. So basically what the developers have done, which is a huge help to players, and I don't think people actually understand this, they added two inventory slots. So say you want to be dropping items that you're, you're mining, you don't actually have to override any of your abilities now. You can actually use your ability bar for abilities. And this XP thing is annoying me being where it is. I need to move it. Uh, edit mode. No, now I'm dragging abilities out. Really? Can I not get a hold of this thing? Okay, exit this. Minimize that. Can I not do it in my settings? Wow. Cancel. Oh my god, just whatever I have to do to get out of this menu, confirm. Okay, get rid of that so now I can go back into here into here come on edit mode gameplay HUDs okay now I can drag this over here I really don't care where it goes right now I just need it out of the way okay so yeah save and exit whatever yes confirm thank you okay so you've got these two here, you can use these for actual abilities, and what I was mentioning is you no longer have to say, you still have your familiar thing, your familiar options right here, that if I wanted to, I could drag, I could take this thing out and I could put it on my action bar if I really wanted to, but I don't. And I don't need to anymore, because I can customize in controls, I can set a key to work for my familiar action. So whatever you set the left click follower thing to, that's what this key is going to correspond to. You can have one actually open and close your inventory. Um, so I can use a key to open and close my inventory. Now this is currently a bug. To fix it, all you need to do is withdraw one coin and then you can now use your keys to open and close menus. So you see my mouse floating over here, and I'm opening and closing my inventory using a key. Okay, so you can set a ton of different keys to a ton of different controls, and some people will handle that better than others. So um, some people are going to go crazy and set a key for everything. Some people are just going to set keys for what they want. You can actually even set the F keys to certain things you want. So you could change gear, I think. Maybe not. Uh, regardless, the F keys are used to open these menus here. And, I mean, you got stuff from run to home teleports to all the different ability menus. So the developers have put a lot of work into this, and I've seen a lot of people giving them credit for it on the forums, but I've also seen some people giving them negative feedback. And I think this is just coming from their lack of understanding of the system. This system offers a lot to the players. It makes our lives, I would say, ten times easier than before and more convenient once you understand how to use it. So I'm going to wrap it up because this video has gone on long enough. I hope you've gotten a lot, maybe a little, gotten something out of this. I'm sure you've gotten something at least. I hope that this video has made the interface system even easier than the previous one and shown you a few more cool things you can do with it. Remember, you can make this system as close to the old one as you want, or you can make it as close to your own customization as you want. So uh, give me a like, subscribe if you're not for more helpful videos, and enjoy the new system.